on whoops uh, 360 people in the school 15 take all three subjects mm -hmm. 15 take None. no subjects uh, 180 take calculus twice as many take chemistry as take physics um, <clears throat> and so on and so on and so on so uh, what do we need to draw first a Venn diagram with how many thingies three thingies Okay, but we also have to do this other thing, uh, which is do the outside. Yeah. Right? So we know that everything adds up to 360, right? And we'll call this uh, calculus. Physics. Physics. And chemistry. chemistry. Okay. Okay. Uh, they really have to pick two with the same. Fifteen. <laughs> Goes okay. right there. Right? Yeah. <coughs> and fifteen. Calculus and chemistry. Fifteen goes uh, out 75. there. Right? Uh, so, hold on. Both calculus and chemistry. Uh, 75. Yeah. And 75. Okay, good. Good. And chemistry, so 60. Okay. Um, only 30 take both physics and calculus. <clears throat> Twice as many students take chemistry as take physics. X minus 90, okay. And this is 2X minus... 2x. That's how many take physics. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Twice as many students take chemistry as physics. So you're saying x takes physics. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're doing. Alright, so you're calling this, this thing right there is x. <coughs> Minus 120, 135. Yep. Okay. And then, uh... Just calculus have one hundred and eighty minus. Oh, I didn't even see that. We skipped that at the very beginning. That was dumb. Okay, so what's the only piece of information we haven't used? What axis? No, no. So first of all, it was good that you chose X to be the number of students. Have I talked about this before? Like, you always want to pick the variable the same as the question? Yeah. It's at the very end. Okay, good. Um, there's one piece of information we haven't used. 360 people. All right, so now what? 360 minus 15. 345. Minus 90. Well, I would say the easy way to do it is... Uh, like I said in the other video, we know how much this is, right? How much is that? What eighty? Right. So, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna write it. Write it in. So we're gonna say uh, three hundred and sixty is uh, fifteen plus one hundred and eighty. Okay. So we cross that off. And cross that off. Mm -hmm. And now what? Um, <clears throat> how many X's do we have? Um. So now we're adding up this plus this. Plus three X's. This. Sure. Plus three X, and then uh, now we got to do the numbers. Minus 90 plus 60 is what? So I'm doing this and this to give me minus 30, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Minus 135. Okay, before we go crazy actually adding these, uh. whoops. Uh, Let's see, we have some work done for us. Uh, 
these three make minus 150. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this so means 30. 3x plus 30. So 3x is 330. Mm -hmm. Right? X is 110. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, this is like, at this point, this type of problem is just, it's like a homework problem. You just know how to do it. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's not, it doesn't seem confusing anymore to you. No. Yeah. Okay, good.